Yeah, okay, mate. Now, if you watch my video, like my latest video, my last one, uh, you'll see the G uh, G two eight eight um, running, and it pops in it fast. Um, like it's just something is wrong. I can't work out what it was. Now I thought myself, um, maybe it's a spark plug. That's what I thought. The simple spark plug. But um, then I started thinking, um, thinking a bit more. These some of these things are play up and they just get into your head and annoy you. So I got my wife to go to the road for the day and buy a brand new spark plug. So I thought, maybe brand new uh, NGK. Maybe I thought because of the clone saw, maybe they're cloning the spark plugs now. I know they yeah, clone spark plugs, so spark plugs. So if you look at this, my spark plug is in my left hand. So all line up bits of metal. My one's a bit tall up here. A little bit tall, not much, but just a little bit. Um, the porcelain on my the right one, the new one I bought today is slightly taller than this one. So there's differences. There's a difference, so um, they're both BP, uh, M, MR, 7A, this one here is a, a BP, um, 8, a BPR, 8Y, so there's a difference in numbers, but I was told the number is different heat cycles, so it should be alright, but I'm wondering, now, if this in, doesn't fix the problem, I'll try tomorrow, we'll go to the woodyard and do a bit of work. If it doesn't fix the problem, I think it's carburetor. And I'll tell you why. If you like, watch my last video, go right to the end of it, um, where I am last used this in the wood, and you hear it running out of petrol. Now, that's the last five seconds where you hear it, so running out of petrol, it'll peak rev, and it doesn't fart. It's, uh, it's, it's running lean, which I understand. Because of the peak rev revving and not farting, that's what makes people wonder, well, why isn't it farting? So, it's obviously a copy of a um, Tillerson um, carburetor, but it's not working right. Now, when I had a for, I went the high right down to the bottom where um, I see the, um, the needle in the, in the hole. So it should have stopped that saw, but it didn't. So something's going on with the carby. Um, so I'm going to go to the carby doctor and um, find if I get a carby off him. I oh, know there's a price, it's one of the 60 bucks there. And hopefully that'll fix the problem, but something gets going on with this thing. And this is why I put this on the shelf in the first place. Yeah, it's fun, it's nice. I've got a clone, you know, salt, blah, blah, blah. But it never ran that good, so I was never impressed. That's why I sat in the shelf for 12 months without me touching it. So, yeah, obviously some of us to be fixed before I sell this thing. But, yeah, I think I think down, I, down on that, I would say call or something else. But I think after hearing that carburetor run out of petrol, yeah, it's a carby. But we'll try the spark plug. If not, the one that came out of the saw, I can use it again. Anyway, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. But yeah, the, head, the headaches you have when you buy these saws, when you pour a saw, you do want a, pour, a saw. Make sure it's working 100% from stock stand. No problems with oil, no problems with any. Um, so you want to improve power, make sure you can, it's all right from stock. Then you can. Otherwise, you chase things. Like, I'm chasing things with this thing. Anyway, just wait. Wait the things go, but... I'll get this thing running good and then you'll see a true power. Alright guys, over and out. And as I say usual, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Alright guys.